Everybody, John with Owl. Good morning. We always love it when customers come and visit us out at the shop. Some with uh, kind words to say, sometimes with problems. But my friend Chris here has a really interesting one. So this is Chris. Good morning. And Chris brought his van in. Now, Chris is also, you have an airplane hangar. I do. And he's got a Sprinter van with a B2. And why don't you walk me through what happened with your van and what we're going to look at here. I was coming back from a trip and I pulled into the aircraft hangar to unload the van. And when I was in the process of pulling in, I had driven over the little marks on the ground I had put. But unfortunately, I didn't realize the marks were when I back in, not when I pull in forward. So the back of the van had a little extra too much length. And when the hangar door came down, the hangar door decided to sit on my B2. And how much do you think this hangar door weighs? Uh, it's a 50 foot long, 14 foot tall steel door. I'm going to guess it's probably five, 10,000 pounds. Five to 10,000 pounds. We have people ask about if e-bikes can go on the B2. So here's what happened. No damage to the van whatsoever. The carrier itself, solid as a rock, somewhere near 10,000 pounds ended up on these posts. In fact, you can see where the door hit right here and right over here. That's not an e-bike. That's an entire 50 foot airplane hangar door. So you can see there was some bending here. We didn't even break any welds. We've got some bending here of the B2 mounting plate. The tubes themselves are actually straight on the bars. So I'm absolutely blown away how strong these Mercedes hinges are, how strong the construction of the rack is, because you know we like to over-engineer these things, but you don't engineer them for that. So, um, you know, he's actually going to use this B2. Obviously, we never encourage people to use things that are damaged, but we've looked at it and, and uh, it really doesn't look bad. So from a carrier standpoint and from a van door standpoint, it seems to be like it's, it seems like it's going to be all right. And you had another car that got hit by the same door. This seems to be a, yeah, a, a, yeah. an issue you have. So that maybe we throw up some photos of that. Some issues in the past. <laughs> two years ago, the door came down and actually closed on top of the passenger door of an SUV and bent the Mercedes door almost off, but uh, crushed the door. So that door has, uh, that hangar door has had a little history. The thing doesn't like you. Apparently not. <laughs> yeah. it, it doesn't have, uh, it, it doesn't give you a second chance, right? It's too big a door. Yeah. Yeah. So if anyone's seen these, these are these bifold steel doors that kind of go up like a sandwich when they're straight or when they go up to the ceiling, they, they, they bifold and then when they come down like this, you can check it out online. In fact, I'll probably have, have thrown some pictures in the video. Uh, of that, but gotta say, I'm I'm impressed with stories like this. I love it. We just recently did a video on how strong our tire carriers are. I guess now we can use this as an excuse to do a video on how strong the B2s are. Yeah, good time. <laughs>